success guy is a very, very lonely road man. Very few people are willing to endure the pain, the sacrifice, the diligence to be successful. It's an uphill battle. And along that road, you're not going to see too many friends. You're going to see your shadow most often. You got trust in the heart of hearts. Inside what you're doing, what you believe in, is a worthy cause, a winnable fight. See, the thing is, for many people, they've tried the same path you're on, and they failed. As you walk this journey, you're going to see carcasses all over the place of people that didn't quite have it. And I should inspire you, because you got further than that person, than that person. But you're not looking to get further than you're looking to finish. How do you know you're on the right path? Where do you go to ensure that? Success. Many will love you for it. The majority will hate you. Because your success makes them feel insufficient in their current endeavor. Reminds them of where they could have done it when they came up short and how they didn't revisit it. Where they went at it and failed. And failure is what stood. They never revisited it again. The difference between a winner and a loser, the failure is there for some time. It's just the winner gets back up and does it again. It does it again. Until it goes his way. So now you're down that path and you're all alone. How do you know you're on the right path? How do you know what you're doing is in the right direction? It's not the title that makes you. It's not the success that makes you. The character defines the success, defines the theme, and it starts right there. The championships aren't won in the theater or the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, when it's raining, when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The Harvard champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's 